climate science has entered a period of turmoil, and it's about to get much worse. When most of you think about climate gate, those of you who know what it is, you remember the emails that were hacked, showing there had been unscrupulous activity behind the scenes among some of the top climate scientists. That's not this climate gate. Well, climate gates is more like it now. Once he tries whatever he's trying with the pandemic, he's going to insist on coming back to the more long-term attempt to seize control over governments and industry and food production. This piece is like much of his blog, high on his opinion and low on original insight. So let me show you where the smart money goes, in the middle, between the crazy people climbing the walls. First, don't be that person who outs yourself as weak-minded by claiming some shillery for big oil here. Pollution is a major problem on this planet, and I say this part first for a reason. However, the major driver of climate change is currently being ignored for that political posture, that everything is our fault. And I'll state it plainly, there are now thousands of peer-reviewed papers indicating the sun and cosmic rays affect El Nino, clouds, large-scale circulations, precipitation, lightning, and global temperatures. It's a huge influence, and most recent works suggest it is the particle forcing and the magnetic effects. However, the solar contribution to climate is largely overlooked, replaced instead with the nearly constant light output in the climate studies. This has begun to change over the last few years, and the growing field was the subject of one of our feature films last year, Climate Forcing. Climate Forcing is a one-hour special on the sun's control over the atmosphere. It leads the climate playlist you see here, and which is in the description box linked below this video. That film covers the volcanoes as well, since the research continues to show we're just one big blast away from a major global change. In fact, Earth is currently enjoying record low volcanic aerosol cooling. The sun's non-constant particle output peaked this last century unlike any other in the Holocene, and the short-term detail showing modulation of major storms like hurricanes and typhoons is progressing quickly. The wealth of papers on this topic can be found in our textbook, but you don't need to buy it to find them. We offer a few downloads and lists on the page, one of which contains the entire bibliography, the best 500 scientific studies on the topic. But in the wake of that 2019 film and the textbook release four months ago, the science continues forward on this path and is shifting direction on another path. We decided to make special videos on how the particles, the solar plasma, is actually managing to accomplish all of these statistical connections and modulations, from the highest jet streams and polar vortex to the sea surface temperatures and everything that happens in between. Yes, including the storms, rapid climate change possibilities with major solar events, and more. But the last three in the playlist are where things get very important. Scenario number four is from the textbook. The scenario is that you get a chance to have a voice to speak for the sun against the current carbon-driven climate story. I chose that story because I wasn't given a voice by Kathy Castor and Congressional Select Committee on Climate Change when they wrote a letter to Google requesting the deletion of this channel from YouTube. The entire story is in that video, how a congressional committee tried to single out a few major players in the climate discussion and silence them, how it failed, and what my voice would have been if they had chosen to give me one. Finally, the last one in the list is the open letter that we presented to the president of the AGU. She has not responded, and the video was not calling her out, but praising her and asking her to avail the AGU of an amazing opportunity in climate science. Tons of work has hit the journals on cloud uncertainties, the bias and oversensitivity to CO2 in the climate models, and the errors manifesting at very large scale in those models. Now, while this has occurred, the cloud uncertainty pegged as the cause of those other issues, is becoming a more studied field from the space energy side of the equation. Both are happening within the AGU's journals. All she has to do is put them together, and it's over. The playlist gives the details, but here are the highlights for a climate skeptic who still believes in climate change. The greatest solar activity in thousands of years occurred last century, and there is a powerful decades-long lag that works out of the ocean and is working to this day. The volcanic minimum of cooling, 
coincided to drive a tremendous imbalance in the long-term energy budget of the atmosphere over the last century. The models have issues with bias and sensitivity because they have uncertainty in the effect of clouds. All of that is being broken out in the science, and we have to get it right in the big picture. We also have to keep the planet clean. The sun has exited grand maximum, and the lagged heating will soon confront a budget deficit. Numerous volcanoes with significant potential appear active or gearing back up. Cosmic rays are rising, not just due to solar changes, but Earth's magnetic field is weakening. That's more dynamic power to clouds and lightning. And all while increasing cold freshwater melt is distributed into the oceans, lowering salinity, temperature, and circulation current flows. Folks, the playlist that is at your fingertips is the entire playbook. All the major issues, all the major points, without a single shred of support for big oil or other pollution of this planet. The list of 500 papers from our book is free as well for you to check out. There is no issue in climate untouched by the sun or the publications about it at this point. But the field has reached a level of maturity such that you can't just walk into the middle of it and find your way around or even see everything from where you're standing. This is your guide. Climate gate never ended. And after sticking a needle in your arm, the climate gates is coming for everything else. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.